Okay, I'm back with another video. Real quick, how I make how my how I mix my sculpt the mold. Uh, I just use this bucket here, along with a spatula and the sculpt the mold, and which is the main ingredient, and water, which is another main ingredient. And I, if you want to just do a real small area. A good size handful will get you a lot of area. It'll get it'll do a small area with some left over for patchwork and if you want to build up a mountain, you know, a little hill or something, you know. Uh, <clears throat> two handfuls will do a larger area, uh, probably about two foot long by well, I don't know, twelve inches wide. Three handfuls will get you a lot. It'll definitely do a two foot long patch with plenty of left over to do patchwork and whatnot, you know, and build up some mountains or whatever. Uh, all I do is I just throw it in this bucket right here, the sculpt -a mold that is, and I add the water to the consistency that I like. Now, something to remember sculpt -a mold works great but it is very dusty so i highly 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 recommend you use a good dust resp respirator a good dust res respirator or or i use and i'll show you what i use i use a gas slash vapor mask and it works very good this is what i use and and before when i was doing the sculpt mold i was breathing it in and i was coughing and gagging using this here it prevents that so i highly recommend you can get this on amazon just look up a uh, gas vapor a uh, respirator uh but these work very well i i don't have any any effect working with the sculpt -a mold or a good a, just a good dust respirator don't buy the cheap ones buy the ones that got two bands one over your head and one on the back of your neck and has a good tight fit around your around your nose and your mouth so this here does just that it it really makes a good seal so uh but I highly recommend that you use some type of good respirator while working with the sculpt -a mold So, so you're not breathing this stuff in because it will, it'll, it'll irritate, it'll get in your lungs and your sinuses. And so make sure you wear a good respirator. So you add the sculpt -a mold to the bucket, you add some water, and you just mix it to the consistency that you want. If it's too runny, just take a, a little bit of, you know, maybe a little handful and throw it in there and mix it in, and that'll thicken it up a little bit. And then that'll give you the consistency to work it long enough. So you got to be kind of quick. I'm going to let you know you have to be quick. Uh, but that'll get you through to where you, where you use it all up. So... And before you apply it, make sure you got a sprayer. I use this here. And you spray the area that you're going to apply the sculpt -a mold to. Wet it first. And then apply the sculpt -a mold. I have found that the, the spatula, as well as my hand, work very good. The spatula works really good to just get it on there and kind of spread it around. So that's what I do. I just get it out of the bucket and out onto the area where I want. And what I have found so far to be the best method for me, anyhow. Then I come back with my hand and I spread it around and I get it in all the nooks and crannies. I also wear these gloves. These are really good gloves. These are really good gloves. These are the hardy nine millimeter nitrile gloves and they are really good now some of you may be allergic to nitrile so uh there's also uh, uh um, oh shoot uh, non-powdered and the vinyl gloves whatnot 
These are really good. These are just as it says, extremely heavy duty. It takes a lot to put holes in these. And when you're done, you just pull them off and throw them away. So <clears throat> I didn't cover my track. I probably should have, but the good thing about the sculpt mold is it's, it doesn't stick right away. So if it lands on your track, just pick it up with a spatula or your hand or your fingers and put it where you want it. And I'm still gonna go over the track with a, with a track eraser, a cleaner, but that's not a big deal. You see, I got some right here. But at any rate, that's what I do. That's what I'm working on. It's a work in progress. I'm not saying it's the way to do it. I'm just saying it's the way I've, I've been doing it up till now. It will change, I'm sure. But so far, this is what I have found to be the best method. Now, let me bring you over here, too. I'll show you what else I did real quick. I wanted to check this. Looks like it didn't take like I was hoping it would. But this is FIBA tape. And I'm trying to give... I'm trying to give... Let's see if I can... I don't know if I'm, if you can see that, but I'm trying to give the plaster cloth something to sink its teeth into. So, because this is going to be a, a, a ledge or a cliff as well. So what I did, this has got a sticky backing to it, this FIBA tape. It's got a sticky backing to it. Now I'll tell you something. With this FIBA tape, um, the contractor who did our remodel here a couple of years ago, his drywall guy was doing some work at my brother's house as well. And he was using this FIBA tape. And I told him, hey, Keith, I says, what's with the FIBA tape? It doesn't stick very well. He says, nope, it sure doesn't. Ever since California made the corporations changed their formulas on paint, adhesives, whatever. They had to change the adhesive backing to this tape. And it doesn't work as well as it used to. So, and Keith said it used to work really good because it was a different adhesive. But they made them change it. And now it doesn't stick very well. So what I tried doing here, real quick, is laying it down, sticking it, and then putting down some, uh, following it with some wood glue. Well, that didn't work so hot. So I'm gonna have to do what Keith said to do, which is to take some of that spray adhesive that 3M makes, spray the area they're gonna lay this FIBA tape down onto, and then lay a, lay a weight on it, and go away and let it dry. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here. Um, this has been kind of a, 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 a thorn in my shorts, but um, it's just something I'm going to have to deal with. So at any rate, this FIBA tape works really good with the uh, uh, plaster cloth. It works really good. Like I say, it gives the plaster cloth something, it gives it teeth, gives it something to hold on to. Problem is, I'm still experimenting on what I need to do to give the FIBA tape something to grab onto. So, it's a work in progress. Okay, well, I guess that's it for now. Uh, it's coming along, it's, like I say, it's a work in progress, and I'm a one-man show, so, and in between all that, I'm running trains and having the time of my life. So, but at any rate, I appreciate you watching and and your patience as, as I make progress. And I thank you for watching. Bye for now.